G'day guys, in this video we're asked to find the moment of inertia of a uniform thin rod about point O, where this is our thin rod of length L, and point O is just its end point. Well before we get started, let me just quickly revise for you the moment of inertia. If we have a rigid body just here and we have a point A, the moment of inertia about point A is equal to the integral of r squared dm, where dm is just a small element of mass dm, and r is the distance from point A towards your element of mass. So this is what r is and this is what dm is, okay? So now let's find out what, what r is and what dm is in the context of this problem. Well, to do that, let me quickly redraw let me quickly redraw our thin rod just here. The first thing we're going to note is that we're assuming that the rod is so thin that it can be approximated as just a line. And this means that we're going to be dealing with a one-dimensional object and not a two-dimensional object just here. Okay, so, and I hope I'm not confusing you by doing this, but it actually simplifies the problem quite a bit. Let me quickly put in point O just here. Now let me draw a small element of mass on our thin rod. And I'm going to do that in green. This is going to be our small element of mass dm just here. And r in this context is the distance from O to our small element of mass, right? Which in this context, because we're dealing with a one-dimensional one dimensional line, is just going to be x, right? This is using our standard Cartesian xy axis, right? So in this context, r is x and dm is just dm here. Now we can solve for dm noticing that because we're dealing with a one dimensional heavy line, our density is actually going to be in terms of kilograms per meter, right? So in fact, our density is going to be written as dm dx, which means then that dm, basically the mass of this small element, can be written as rho times by dx, okay? So we're going to use this to plug into this formula. So let me do it step by step. The moment of inertia of our thin rod about point O is equal to the integral of r squared, in this case x squared, times by dm, or in this case, rho dx. Now, because rho is constant because we're dealing with a uniform thin rod, we can suck this outside of the integral sign and write this as rho times the integral of x squared, x squared dx. And you might be thinking, well, this is okay so far, but what are the limits of integration? Well, the way I like to think about this is, what elements of mass swoop out the entire length of this line? Well, from point O, you'll be, you'll, the amount of masses will be swooping from zero towards the length of your rod L. So in fact, our limits of integration will go from zero to L. Zero to L. Notice this isn't always the case. If we were dealing with the moment of inertia about our center of mass, which would be right here, the limits would be from minus L on two to positive L on two, right? So the point you're evaluating this about does matter, okay? So now this becomes a case of mathematics, which I think is the easiest part. Let's zoom through this. This is going to be rho just here, but the integral of x squared is just going to be x cubed on 3, x cubed on 3, and your limits are going to be from 0 to L, right? And if you evaluate this, it'll turn into 1 third rho L cubed, L cubed. Okay, so we could box this off and be done with this, but I have a feeling that this can be simplified further. If we wanted to calculate the mass of this entire thin rod, how would you do it? Well, remember that our density is not only constant, but in this one dimensional case, it's a mass per unit length. So in this case, the total mass of our entire line is gonna be equal to rho times by the total length of our line, right? This is going to be the equation which finds the mass of our thin rod just here. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, what's the point of this? Well, we can actually plug this in here to simplify it. And we do that by doing this. We can factor out 
a rho L from this expression. We can factor out a rho L by writing this as rho L times by L squared. Notice I haven't cheated here, I've just factored it out cleverly. And we can actually substitute M in here and write our final answer as one third M L squared. This is the moment of inertia of our thin rod, so thin it can be approximated as just a line about its endpoint O. I hope that made sense, guys.